I would say for anybody who's experiencing anxiety, um, I think this is something that could certainly be beneficial to them. But I do really feel good overall. Um, again, I feel better than I did while I was on the 10 milligrams with regards to the anxiety and depression. So I definitely feel better than I did before. Okay, so I'm back for uh, the update on anxiety and depression. I'm about 20 days in right now, and I figured I would just wait uh, a little bit longer. I was originally thinking I'd be doing this, you know, every three to five days, but I've actually uh, felt it would be best to just give it more time because as more time goes on, I'm experiencing new things. So uh, at this point in time, I just wanted to give you an update on anxiety before I'll get into depression. Um, and I think based on my, my prior videos, um, you know, up to this one, been doing good with the anxiety. That was really a almost immediate benefit of the CBD is just that calming, relaxing sensation. And since I am using uh, a CBD oil and I am using it uh, sublingually, it obviously gets into my bloodstream very quickly doesn't have to go through the digestive process and I get a very you know reliable dose of uh, the CBD which is again why I chose to go with the oil as opposed to some other method but that has also uh, you know allowed me to realize the benefits you know rather quickly almost like vaping would uh, but having it last longer so uh, with the anxiety I did notice that pretty quickly and that was really what helped me with the sleeping you know, I just found I could not wind down. I was just, uh, I was just so wired, you know, I just being a rat in a cage for over 10 years, it just messes with the wiring of your, your body and uh, you just have a hard time shutting down. And so that was my biggest issue. I think was just having a hard time shutting down, relaxing, and ultimately being able to have a deep sleep. So I think the anxiety, and the sleeplessness, you know, certainly go hand in hand, and it certainly has been very, very beneficial with that. Um, so that that's very positive. Uh, and I would say for anybody who's experiencing anxiety, um, I think this is something that could certainly be beneficial to them. Uh, you know, as far as the dosing, again, I'm just doing the 10 milligrams in the morning, and I'm doing the 10 milligrams at night. Uh, some may find that they need to do three doses a day. Again, I haven't really messed around with that yet. Uh, I really haven't felt a need to, but uh, for somebody who maybe has, you know, more extreme anxiety than myself, you know, again, I have the SSRI, which helps with the anxiety. So this just kind of was another layer uh, because the SSI really wasn't getting the job done, you know, as far as my sleeping was concerned. So the two together, um, have provided really obviously very good results in terms of the anxiety. On to the depression. So with regards to the depression, uh, notice that again rather immediately, much like the anxiety. I, I noticed that calming effect. I noticed that I was just feeling uh, better just in, in terms of my overall mindset. You know, I was waking up um, feeling re rejuvenated, feeling renewed. I remember, you know, uh, in the past I would wake up, I'd be having this wonderful dream you know, um, could have been most anything, right? And I would wake up in the morning and realize that, oh, it was just a dream. This is my reality. This is what my day is going to look like. Oh, another day of this, you know, and it just automatically put me into that negative, depressed state of mind. Um, and this has really helped with that because I wake up feeling much better, which helps because also, you know, when you wake up, and you don't feel good that doesn't put you in a very good state of mind either. And I think that played a large role in it too. So waking up, feeling better, feeling rejuvenated, uh, feeling revived, uh, and also just having a better mindset, I think has been very beneficial. So with that in mind, I got uh, pretty excited about it. And I thought, well, I'm gonna start uh, dosing down on my SSRI rather quickly, which I started to do. Uh, and again, this is something that you have to be very careful with, and I will, uh, discuss this more in my next video, which I'm going to provide just to kind of help with those of you who are on a SSRI or something similar. But the dosing down process is something you have to be very careful with because if you go cold turkey, 
the withdrawal symptoms are pretty heavy. Now, I did not go cold turkey, but I still experienced uh, some uh, withdrawal symptoms. I was definitely edgy for a couple days there. So I told myself, uh, okay, let's just kind of stop here. Let's kind of slow this down a little bit. Let's not get too carried away. So I just kind of stayed put at the five milligrams. I'm gonna stay there for right now. I feel good, you know. Uh, the fact that I've been able to cut my dose in half and I've been able to do that in a matter of, you know, two weeks. I'm sitting here, you know, almost three weeks after the fact, feeling really good. I'm just gonna hold tight here for a while. If I, uh, you know, wanna take on, you know, um, you know, that last five milligrams and, and getting off of that in the next few weeks or month, I'll certainly give it a shot and I'll give you an update on that. But for right now, uh, had a couple days of withdrawal, withdrawal symptoms. They weren't bad, but I was definitely feeling edgy. Um, they did pass. And I think, uh, again, the, the uh, CBD has something to do with that. They do say that the CBD, you know, certainly is helpful with, with, with regards to withdrawal, withdrawal symptoms. So I think it helped maybe, uh, you know, those, maybe they passed quicker that way. Again, I haven't researched it enough to really know, but whatever the case. So uh, I'm feeling good about that. I do really feel good overall. Um, again, I feel better than I did while I was on the 10 milligrams with regards to the anxiety and depression. So I definitely feel better than I did before with a smaller dose you know, of SSRI currently. Um, so that's really good news. And you know, it's just one of those things. My body is definitely going through an adjustment period. So I have to be aware of that. You know, I've been, uh, you know, just a hamster on a wheel for so long. And my body, really just, my body chemistry, everything has just really gotten so far out of whack that I'm just trying to pay attention to what my body's telling me and, um, you know, be very cognizant of that. Because I did have a off day, it was probably about a week ago. Uh, my daughter was sick with the flu. I may have gotten a bug. I don't know, but I had a day in there where I just really felt off. I really felt, it didn't feel right. Uh, but it came and it went. So, you know, if you're experiencing uh, something of the same, I wouldn't be too concerned about it. I just think all of us who are going through these changes, especially when we've had all of these uh, medications and drugs and stuff running through our bodies uh, for so long, you know, my body, my body is really trying to reach you know some homeostasis um and of course that's what the cbd is helping with and i certainly think that it's going through some changes along the way so i think that's just to be expected but uh, all in all i feel really good right now i'm really really pleased with the results and i will continue to keep you posted on this if there's any changes you know if there's anything that surprises me or pops up out of nowhere or something like that i'll certainly keep you comprised of that but Right now, as far as the anxiety and depression, uh, absolutely been very beneficial to me, but been very helpful. And uh, the fact that I'm you know, on half a dose compared to what I was before, that's very positive. So I'm really happy about that. And I'm sleeping great, man. I haven't slept this good in forever. And uh, a lot of things that uh, used to get to me just don't get to me as much on a daily basis. So that's always good. So hopefully, uh, you know, if you're, if you're there with me, you're doing well. Um, if you're not, hopefully this will help you to maybe think about, uh, you know, giving it a shot and trying this out and seeing what you can do to alleviate your anxiety, uh, alleviate your depression, uh, get off the SSRIs or get on a lower dose or whatever it might be. Okay, hopefully this was helpful to you. It most certainly has been helpful to me. So I'll see you on the next one and uh, do well until then. I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you being here. If this content was a benefit to you and you'd like to see more of it coming your way, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. And of course, if this could be a benefit to somebody you love or care about, please make sure and share it with them. Of course, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, let me know why so I can do a better job moving forward. And lastly, if you are uh, currently taking CBD or uh, considering taking CBD moving forward, uh, again, I'm not a medical professional. So I'm not here to give any sort of medical advice. I'm only here to give you some guidance and some knowledge. Make sure that you have that conversation with your doctor, your psychiatrist, your medical professional before you start to take CBD, especially if you're taking other medications so they can help guide you along the way. I wish you the best. Good luck to you. I'll see you soon.